addition and subtraction of decimals. In algebra, a decimal number can be defined as a number whose part and the fractional part is separated by a decimal point. Decimals are used to write a number that is not whole. Example, 3 tenths, 298 thousandths, 5,142 ten thousandths. Decimal number is also a number that is between whole numbers. An example of this is 12 and 5 tenths, which is a decimal number that is in between 12 and 13. It is more than 12, but it is less than 13. This kind of decimal is known as mixed decimal. Question 1. What is the sum of 124 thousandths plus 6 tenths plus 25 hundredths? When adding decimals, write the decimals vertically. Make sure to align the decimals based on the place value as well as the decimal points. Add zeros to fill in the vacant place value in 6 tenths as well as in 25 hundredths. Then add from right to left, just like in whole numbers. So beginning with the thousands place, 4 plus 0 plus 0 equals 4. 2 plus 0 plus 5 equals 7. 1 plus 6 plus 2 equals 9. Then bring down 0 and decimal point. So the final answer is 974 thousands. Question 2. What is the sum of 7 and 836 thousandths plus 5 and 69 hundredths? To get the sum of mixed decimals, write the decimals vertically. Make sure to align the mixed decimals based on the place value as well as the decimal points. Add 0 to fill in the vacant place value in 5 and 69 hundredths. Then add from right to left, just like in whole numbers. So beginning with the thousands place, 6 plus 0 is 6. Next is 3 plus 9 equals 12. But since the answer is more than 10, you will regroup 10 to the next place value, which is equivalent to 1 tenth, and retain 2 in the hundreds place. 1 plus 8 plus 6 for tenths place is 15. But since the answer is more than 10, you will regroup 10 tenths to the whole number which is equivalent to 1 whole, then retain 5 in the tenths place. Lastly, 1 plus 7 plus 5 for whole numbers is 13. Make sure to bring down the decimal point in the answer. So the final answer is 13 and 526 thousandths. When adding decimals, arrange the decimals vertically. Align the decimal points and decimal numbers based on their place value. Add zeros as placeholder to vacant place value. Add the decimals just like whole numbers. Begin from right to left. Regroup the answer to the next place value if the answer in a certain place value is more than 10. Put down the decimal point in the answer. Question 3. What is the difference of 9 and 586 thousands minus 25 hundredths? To subtract decimals, arrange the decimals vertically. Align the decimals based on the place value as well as the decimal points. Add 0 to fill in the vacant place value in 25 hundredths, after which subtract the decimals just like in whole numbers beginning from right to left. Starting with the thousands place, 6 minus 0 is 6, then 8 minus 5 is 3, 5 minus 2 is 3. Finally, 9 minus 0 is 9. 
and then bring down the decimal point in the answer. So the final answer is 9 and 336 thousandths. Question 4. What is the difference of 757 thousandths minus 49 hundredths? To get the difference of decimals, arrange the decimals vertically. Align the decimals based on the place value as well as the decimal points. Add 0 to fill in the vacant place value in 49 hundredths. Then subtract from right to left just like in whole numbers. Beginning with the thousands place, 7 minus 0 is 7. Next is 5 minus 9 cannot be, since the minuend is smaller than the subtrahend. And so, you will borrow 1 to the next place value, so 7 minus 1 is 6 tenths. Then, you will regroup 1 tenth that you borrowed to the hundreds place. So 5 in hundreds place will become 15 hundreds. Continuing in the hundreds place, 15 minus 9 equals 6. And 6 minus 4 equals 2. Finally, bring down the zero and decimal point in the answer. So the final answer is 0 and 267 thousandths. When subtracting decimals, arrange the decimals vertically. Align the decimal points and decimal numbers based on their place value. Add zeros as placeholder to vacant place value. Subtract the decimals just like whole numbers. Begin from right to left. Borrow to the next place value if the minuend is smaller than the subtrahend. Put down the decimal point in the answer.